Hi, my name is Brooke and this is Maker's Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to take a regular old paper snowflake and turn it into a laser cut wooden snowflake. Let's get started. I'm sure there's a billion ways to make a paper snowflake. This is the way that I've always known how to make one. I'm starting by trimming a standard piece of paper into a square and then keeping it folded in a triangle, I'm gonna fold it two more times in half. And then to keep the finished snowflake from looking too square, I just trim off the pointy edge like I'm showing here. And then you just kinda cut out shapes and go for it. It's probably nearly impossible to do this wrong or bad, although I'm sure uh, somewhere someone could probably prove me wrong. So now we have a standard run-of-the-mill paper snowflake, which is great and all, but we are going to turn this into a vector file um, that we can then send to the laser cutter. There's a really wide range of ways that you can make vector files, probably an endless amount of ways you can make vector files, and oftentimes those ways are gonna give you a really precise, really measured file. Um, and you're just gonna get really perfect lines, perfectly straight, perfectly symmetrical. Etc. The particular method that I'm going to show today is going to maintain a little bit more of that hand on quality, which like is part of the charm of the paper snowflake in the first place. I'm going to use Adobe Capture for this. This is an iPad app that I like. High contrast is the key for getting good results with this. I just used a dark laptop as the backdrop for the white snowflake. And then you just photograph it. There's lots of different settings within the app. I'm using the contrast setting, which is within the shape category. You can save as an SVG right in the app and in theory send this directly to the laser, but I prefer to pop it into Illustrator to get it as a red stroke with no fill. It's just a cleaner file that way with absolutely no room for errors when this gets translated to a laser cut. I am going to sign my name and then do the same process on this to get my signature as an engrave on the finished snowflake. For engraves, we just want a black fill with no stroke in Illustrator. And then I positioned it on my snowflake. I use this method all the time as a cool, kind of different way to sign my work and make it personal. This is being cut on our Glowforge laser cutter on their proof grade medium cherry. Proof grade is a more expensive material option, but kind of worth it in some cases, in my opinion, because when you peel the masking off, you get a perfectly finished piece. No extra steps are needed. All right, all right, I've had an idea. We're a makerspace, if you didn't know that, we are. So we have members that come in all the time that we see all the time. I'm gonna have everybody cut out a snowflake you get one shot, and then we're gonna hang them in the front window for the holidays, like it's Christmas time, you know. And then I'll do a nice laser cut version of everybody's and then hang it around the front window in the shop for all of winter, and I'll call it my special snowflakes. Hopefully everyone doesn't hate me for this. I don't know if I really care, this is gonna be great. Let's do it. It's happening, you see it? <laughs> so far, so good. Wow. Don't fold it again. Yeah. That's, I mean, I won't tell you how to live, but it's a bad idea. And then cut up the open end. Yes. At an angle, I'm gonna go obviously. I'm gonna go oh, oh, that one came out better. So you get one okay. shot to do this. Do you know how to fold up a snowflake? No. Oh. Hey! Perfect! Are you guys coming to stay today? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice job. Hey, ass. Oh, oh, see? A special fold. See what I mean? Oh. You fold it fancy. You see? I've never done, you I've never limited me. Changing, <laughs> <laughs> limited me. Changing the game here. I thought I knew how to do it. Guys, this is perfect. Hello. I need your help. Oh, I need wow. your help. We're making snowflakes. Yeah. Want to no. see mine? I want you to know that each of you are a beautiful snowflake. That's kind of the message, guys. <laughs> right? I'll explain in a second. You are so no, sweet. I sweet. So, I <laughs> We 
you gonna put me on Facebook? <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna show the internet how you turn a paper snowflake into a wooden laser cut snowflake. Oh my god. I know, I know. And Am I gonna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna get a snowflake from everybody at Maker's Workshop that comes in that wants to do one, and then I'm gonna hang them up on the ceiling for all of winter. So we'll have a bunch of different snowflakes for all of us, okay? Okay, and then you could put like, um, like fishing wire down, and then you could attach a snowflake like it's falling. Like a wooden yes! like yes! snowflake. Yes! Snowflake. Do you know how to fold up a snowflake? Um, yeah, you just right. fold it like, ooh, <laughs> and then you cut. Yeah, pretty much. All right, do you want do you want any guidance or do you want to just fly free? He's gonna fly free. He's gonna fly free. Okay. That's not how my dad did. <laughs> and you don't have to put me on Facebook because I am already famous. So for the month of December, I proceeded to chase down all of our members for snowflakes. Yay! It doesn't even look like a snowflake. Well, I told you it wouldn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. The thing in the middle is kind of cool. Laser cutting aside, this was actually a really, really fun activity that got everyone smiling. And everyone also started checking the front window every few days to just see the collection grow. I like to think the people on the streets liked it too. You're the last one to do this, of everybody. Do you, do you, do you know how to do it? Yes. <laughs> you an animal? Like, what is this? <laughs> I think it's done. That is a boom. <laughs> Once I had all the snowflakes cut, the real work began. I scanned each one of them in along with the corresponding signatures and then started laser cutting them. Peeling the masking off was honestly the most time consuming part here, but I didn't need to finish them after, so I really can't complain. And then I strung them on fishing line and hung them on hooks in our ceiling. has been a really really special year because this is our first full calendar year here at the workshop and just thank you from the bottom of my heart Michael's too for everybody that's been a part of that it means the world so like members you're like family to us <laughs> subscribers Instagram followers if you've even watched 30 seconds of a video of ours I appreciate you for our members I'm laser cutting out a second set of all of those. I'm gonna make them say Maker's Workshop 2019. Those are gonna be a, like a New Year's gift for you guys from us to say thank you for being a part of our first full calendar year here. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to click the subscribe button to follow along with everything that we make here at Maker's Workshop. See you next time.